Then we know you play. Are you done? Yeah. You're done? Yeah. Okay. Now you play. Now you will you have. Oh, hey. What's up, everybody? You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming. And today, it's Mario Day! March 10th, get it? So today, we're going to put on our Raccoon Mario hat play some of the original Super Mario Brothers. Now, I almost never play this game all the way through. I just speed run it to beat it. We actually have a speed run if you want to go check it out. Small man speed run, low coin, low score challenge. If you want to check it out. It's an older video, so you're going to have to dig back in there. But today, we're going to be playing the original Super Mario Bros. So, uh, yeah, let's get with it. But first, I wanted to show you. Pick these up. You see them without the, glee, uh, without the glare. It's Cat Peach! Are you kidding me? How cute! Looks like Nermal or something. I love it. So those will be accompanying me today. I don't collect these Amiibos, okay? The guy at the GameStop talked me into buying these. I went there to buy a controller or something and I came home with, oh, you don't even know. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't get out much. All right, so here we go. Mario, Cat Mario as well. So you'll see those now adorning the game room. On I have them up over here with my Pixel Pals. I don't have a lot, but I do have some of the different Mario ones. I'm a little too close to the television here. <laughs> I didn't get this set up right. Okay, so yeah, we'll be playing through this game. Um, if you guys have been tuning in to Game and Chat, we appreciate it. This will be a little like that. Uh, I did post a video today for, uh, it was like the next generation one. So we got four of those out. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing through this game. I have not played this game in a while, and I usually never play it big and doing stuff. So we're just going to chill and play some Super Mario. Get the one-ups, do all that. But also try to go fast. But I am failing. I do that often. Um, so anyway, see if I can remember where some of this stuff is. Get that firepower. I thought there was something like a vine or something here. Maybe that's on the second quest. I don't know. Anyway, there's a second quest of this game if you didn't know that. Wild, right? Oh, where's the superstar? There we go. Yeah. So yeah, if you've been tuning in to Game and Chat, so we're not going to really talk about anything specifically here on this one. Oh. Yeah, get those points. Uh, but we're just be hanging out. I, I came to my mind that, like I said, I don't normally play through this game all the way. So let's see if we can do it. We're just going to play. We're going to try to beat it without, without warping or doing any of that. Love that classic music. Yeah. I'm not used to using the firepower either. And uh, on Super Mario World, which I played through, I think on Game of Chat number two or one or one of those. Um, oh, I fell in the pit. Uh, it's... I played, well I played Mario 2 and Super Mario World, which, Mario World is an easier game to go back and play, like when you haven't played it for a while. Oh, I thought there was a star in here somewhere, I might have blown it. Yeah, there we go, Let's see if we can catch it. Ah, oh, no, that's right, I didn't need it. Um, oh man, I forget where all the secrets are. I know where the, um, one up is over here, I thought this was here. I thought there was something else there. Oh, maybe I missed it. This old trick. Oh, can I get it? I remember doing this. Oh, okay, maybe I don't have the screen far enough. Yeah! Alright. Uh, where are you, bad boy? Where are you, nice boy? Did I pass it? Oh, no. Okay. I thought there was another one of those blocks in here somewhere. Maybe not. Can I warp? Yeah! Well, not warp, but, you know, I'm going for coins. We're going to need those free guys if we want to try to beat the game. Yeah, if you've been tuning into Game and Chat, we appreciate it. That's a fun way to, you know, kind of game and chat. But realistically, I guess we could kind of call this like a Mario Day version or uh, wait, something down here. Edition. Mario Day edition of Super Mario World. So what's going to be playing about? Let's talk about Mario. What's this whole Mario Day all about? Like, oh, I'm so used to getting it. I should have went for the 5,000. But uh, what's Mario Day all about? How did it start? I don't know. I heard about it last year when it was too late. So uh, we ended up doing Stone Cold Steve Austin Day, which is coming up as well. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, we'll be doing something for that. If you want to check out last year's stuff too, it ended up being pretty epic in terms of like, uh, you know, what we were doing there. Oh man. Oh, I could have made that. I blew it. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Definitely blew that. Oh, now you get started in the screwed spot. Man, do not need to be dying there if you want to live. See, I couldn't quite get the speed that I wanted there. That's right, we'll make up for it. Should be getting those tasty coins down there, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so I wonder how far we can get. I know there's a continue code for this game. I think you hold select or A and start. So we'll try it. If, if we die, we'll see if I can get that continue code going. <laughs> At some point, I do want to seriously try to beat this game without warping. 
Um, I know there's like a no death run I could do with that. That sounds hard. <laughs> it seems easier to no death run than- now I'm trapped up here. No death run the game, um, small like I'm used to- ah! <laughs> Sorry, this is like not the way I normally play Mario. It's, it's odd to me. I thought there was coin things there. Yeah, take that Bowser, world one down! So yeah, but that's been fun, doing the game of chat, so I hope you guys have been enjoying that. We're also doing Whiteboard Wednesday, Easy and I are doing a high score challenge. Easy's taking a look at his game room, piece by piece, he's done Atari and Game Gear so far. I think we've got, uh, what is it, is it Turbo Graphics or something's coming up next? Maybe it was Sega Masters? Oh yeah, I think it's Master System up next, but anyway, look forward to all that stuff. Ah! No, there was a warp in there! Or a vine. Ah, why don't I just shoot that? Good idea. Oh, I blew it. Oh well. Anyway, I think there was like a secret up there. Man, yeah, that sucks. This is what's nice about Super Mario World as well is that you can hold that extra power up. Ah, I'm just blowing it. Go up there. <laughs> oh no, it was right there! Dag blast it. Or maybe it's right here. I don't know. Yeah, alright. Let's go do the vine dance. I missed some of those coins, but that's alright. This is always one of my favorite. <laughs> Maybe there's multiple vines where I was just tripping. Oh, come on, do it. Yeah, I did the Super Mario vine dance, dude. How long has that been? <laughs> yeah, can I do it the other way? <laughs> yeah, okay. For some reason it threw me off the other time. All right, well, hey, at least we got that going. It's so weird to play this game, like, uh, like Adventure Island's a game that's fun to play uh, through without speedrunning, because it's actually pretty hard to speedrun. <laughs> um, but these bonus levels are so, so similar. What came first? Was it Master Higgins, is it? Or Super Mario? The chicken or the egg debate there, really. Let me go in here. Oh. Ah, I need more coins, Master. More coins, your majesty? Yes, but, uh... Anyway, we've been having fun with that, so come and join us uh, with that. Let us know your thoughts on some of those topics. Give us some ideas if you want to see a certain game in chat. Um, but there, you pretty much talk about it in there. I got a couple more lined up. I just got to find the time to do them. But I, like I said, I wanted to do this. Ooh, my favorite. Oh, man, I love this swimming level. Um, I don't know why. Firepower, it'll be easy. I'll knock off those damn pesky octopus. I say that, and then I'll probably run into them. Yeah, crack shot and fools. Oh, <laughs> the ricochet. You mess around with them. See, they got me back. I had no reason to be killing those guys. But yeah, it's tough to go back and play this game. Um, I'm not doing the speed run in. So not used to it. And this is the kind of game you want to go down there and get trapped. You can. That's up to you. You can swim over that. Oof. But yeah, being rusty in general, too. I have not played. And I really don't think I've played this game very much since I did my speedrun a few years ago. And uh, it was just kind of one of those things. I got to a point where I was like, ah, to improve on my time, I'm gonna have to play this a lot, a lot, a lot. So I was happy with it. I did a finally did a no death speedrun in the in the format I was telling you about, and it was it felt like a good accomplishment. So um, other than that, I mean, this is a game that I this is one of the original games, obviously, that so many of us have played, but me myself included, is that. Uh, you know, this was the game that came with the system, right? This is the game that was in all... Oh, I almost lost it as fast as I earned it. That was in all the arcades. Everybody wanted to play Super Mario Bros. Because it's just such a good game. And um, at the time, growing up playing this game, I did not realize how tight the controls are in Mario. I mean, you can basically do anything. I mean, you saw it. You can do curves. Stuff you wouldn't even think you could do in an old game like this on a, you know, four-directional button. Uh, you can just do so much with it. So this is a game we actually compare almost all of our controls to when we play any game, really. Modern games, old games especially, you know, a little more because uh, you just, that's a better comparison. But even new games, I'm like, man, Mario had better controls than that brand new, you know, whatever game on the newest system. Oh, really? Man, that sucked. Oh, I tried to go up there. As I say this, I'm totally just dorking it out. <laughs> I thought he might go, oh, what's that brick thing doing up there? Don't jump on me. Ah! Oh, what? Are you kidding me? That was lame right there. I don't think you get continues in the castle. No. They say no. I, 
can't believe I bumped my head on that. That's so annoying. That's <laughs> my daughter likes to say. I don't even remember what the heck we were talking about, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, tight controls. Ah, get out of there! Um, this is just one of the best games, old games, original games, just to think that this was going to be what they did here with, with just the scheme of it. I mean, it's a simple game, obviously, graphically and so many other ways that you can improve on this, but realistically, you can't. In terms of Mario, this is the best game in terms of control. Now, Super Mario World is pretty tight controls, but even as you go on to two, Mario 2, 3, uh, Mario 2 is actually a little bit more clean than you want to give credit for. Uh, that is a good, good game. Uh, but realistically, oh yeah, jamming. Realistically, this is the bar in which we hold, and the standard that we hold to all... Oh man, it's been so long since I've seen this. This uh, bonus level, you want to call it? Oh, look at that, you even give you firepower. So, which is odd because could you even get up there if you weren't big already? <laughs> Did I just... Is that weird? Okay, is that... Anyway, there might be a coin block in here somewhere. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe it's one of these. No? No? What about that one? What about that one? Nope. <laughs> I remember just spending so much time in here destroying these bricks and everything. But yeah, what, what we were going to talk about as well is that, you know, what... Oh, there we go. Carl's Jr., man, that always makes me think of Carl's Jr. Perfect timing with these hammer bros. Oh, makes me want a famous star like nobody's business, dude, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there might be a comeback now. Oh, I had that. I think this is one of the... Really? How did he get me? That's one of the places I think you can do the uh, free guy trick. I don't know if it's a specific level or if that's just the easier place to do it. It's either that one or a little, maybe the next world after that or something. The next three world. I can't believe I got killed right there. Oh, man. But yeah, what, uh... Oh, yeah, this is like 8-1 right here. Give me that invincible shield. Ah! Ah, man! Thought it was gonna get me. Uh, what's your favorite Super Mario? I mean, this, you know, obviously if you're just getting into gaming, is there something in here? Oh, nice. I'm gonna waste my time with my superstar in here, though. I could be clearing that level. Um, you know, what Super Mario did you grow up with? What was the first Mario game you played? Oh, I probably could have got a free guy, I think, if I would have ran through enough guys. I, I think you can still do that in the original Mario. This would definitely be a place to try it. Ah, you like that? It's like, cool, bank shot. Ah, oh, really? But yeah, what, what game, what Mario game did you grow up with? What's your favorite one? Uh, this, to me, this is the most the classic. This is the most tight controls. This is the measuring stick of all Mario games. Not just Mario games, but any kind of platforming game that we... Uh, you know, we use to measure and evaluate, basically. And that's not to be said that if, uh, you know, you have a game that isn't the same, doesn't have as good of controls or whatever, if it's a worse game or not, it's just this is, you know, how we compare these things. Do, 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 do. Yeah, well, I mean, eventually one day it'd be nice to kind of try to do a speed run of the entire game um, with uh, unlimited lives that could get kind of tedious. So, I mean, you know, we you want to practice the stuff the way you'd be playing it, but still, at the same time, I, I might be able to do it. I don't know. Some of these levels get hard, and I mean, I could maybe slow it down a little bit, like right here. I probably should just win. And I've had a couple cheap, quote-unquote, cheap deaths so far, if you will. The timing on these, yeah, see, it gets different right there. Oh, I could have made that. And uh, growing up playing these games, too, we never noticed how they're set up. Can you kill Bowser with fire? I don't remember. Yeah, you can! Get, get, just get wrecked, Bowser! Take that, and 5,000 points? Yeah, we almost never played this game for high score. I don't even know what the highest score you can get is, if you can tilt it at 99999 like so many games or not, but um, I thought that was kind of how the, uh, what do you call it, the infinite guy trick works, which, which is interesting about the infinite guy code is if you get too many guys, you, uh... <laughs> Yeah! Get it. That's original hardware for you right there. Um, <laughs> if you get too many guys and you die, you can actually, it kills you, which is weird, right? I could have went for that coin block, and maybe I should have, but... You know, all these guys are going to count. I've skipped a couple free guys somewhere, too. I, I only really know those first couple free guys in the first two worlds. I don't know if there's free guys in every world or what, but... Uh, and that's the other thing about Super Mario World, man. You can just get so many guys in that game. I think I had, I beat, like, the first world and a half. I had like 40 free guys or something crazy. I only died a couple times. Ah, oh, dang it. 
So in the second quest, uh, those will be beetles to make it a little harder for you. Let's get some of these coins real quick. And that, that'd be something interesting to do as well, because we almost never visit the second quest. I've played the second quest of Zelda, don't get me wrong. Oh, I should go up there. Oh, oh well. We'll take the hard road. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Hey, yo. Here we go. We'll just skip. This part's hard. <laughs> I'm gonna skip this part. You can suck it. I'm not warping, but I'm skipping that part. Unless, did I go too far? I hope not. Okay, I think I can still get down next one. Oh, no, I screwed up. Alright, well, looks like I'm warping to five. Forget about it. <laughs> I think there's a second warp in that that takes you further. I can't remember. Or maybe I... Oh, that's right. The other one, yeah, it takes you to world eight. But, oh, well, well we played through it as much as we could. Okay? Don't judge me. Up and at them. Superstar? Carl Jr. Snack attack? Oh, yeah. Uh, now I'm rolling. Oh, shoot. I don't know why that surprised me. <laughs> There's a free guy in there, I want to say. We can't slow down when we got firepower. Oh, man. I knew the end of the world was right there. Uh, one cool thing about these old school games, too, is when they have level design, like an Excite Bike. Uh, it's so simple and fun to do. Wrecking Crew, some of those games that have level designs from back in this era. Um, I know Mario Maker's out and all the rage these days on, uh, what is it, Wii U and Switch, maybe? I can't remember if there was a Superstar. Oh, no! Bummer. Oh, I'm, I warped into a swimming world! Oh, baby, that's right. One of the lesser-known swimming worlds. Go for those coins? No way, Jose. I should snoop on those, though, huh? Okay, give me those. No octopuses coming. Yeah, I'll snack those up. Mmm. Pasty! I think there's a big or a... I thought there was one. Superstar or something, there we go. Hmm. Gonna need it. There might have been something under there too. And yes, if you're wondering if I'm going to keep saying if I think things are in there, I'm going to. Yeah, finish strong, baby, with that superpower. Mm, Mario, ch -ch -ch. Princess Cat Peach, gotta love Cat Mario. Those of you, I know a lot of people, you know a lot of you are out into cats out there, so you know you gotta get yourself a Cat Mario and a Cat Peach. Okay, so this is world one, three with bullets! Number one with a bullet. Let's get that big, Ooh. You know, I never felt that I uh, ran as fast or jumped as high as with Big Mario. Oh no, it almost did it to me again! <laughs> Bullet surprised me, not that time, Bullet Bill. You dirty bullet, see that cloud hiding over there? <laughs> Why is he hiding over there? Probably because I just pasted these over these old level designs of the first ones before they had that to level whatever I said. That's a big ass castle. Now one of these starts to become a maze. Which one? I don't know, but... I remember going up here and being like, no, I'm screwed. Oh, oh I got so lucky right there, I'll take it. Yeah. Woo! in my teeth here. Go, go, go. Oh, dude, I tried to catch that other one. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to get him old school. Go at him little. And wait for him. Pull those, pull those flames. Pull it. Where's your flame burger? You shoot two? Sometimes he shoots two. Oh, man, there's a fireball here? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, everybody? I feel like that fireball is going to get me. Whoa! Yeah! Take that, Bowser! <laughs> Alright, well, I made it further than I thought I would. I got a few guys, almost to a free guy. Should be able to... maybe... Yeah, at least make the World 7? I never do World 7. I think they start like being... Uh, holding out on you on power up. Oh no! Oh, it's still here. Nice! Caught that edge. Oh, did you see that Luca 2 guy up there? He was all tweaking out too. I never know which way they're gonna throw him. It's like the ghosts. Like, they go whichever way you're like waiting to see. There might be something in there. But we're on a roll. We'll just keep it rolling, baby. Oh, no! Should I kill him? Nah. He never bothered anybody. Besides all the people he throws stuff on. Boom! Yeah, yeah! You get that firepower, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's probably possible to get to a million points, or, or as much to a million points as you can. Maybe that's something I'll try to do another time, too, is a million point challenge. I've been kind of skipping over some guys, I did skip some stuff. 
there in the beginning. Here we go. Oh yeah, these are one of my faves. The old... The old... This is the one I remember. That first one in the first level, but this is the one I remember for some reason. Having to try to make this jump was like... You know, you didn't realize that you could just like float in there, man. This game is just so incredible. Oh, so good. But yeah, what's your favorite? What's your favorite Mario game? Which Mario game did you start out playing? Uh, which one do you have the you know hardest memories with the fondest memories? Have you ever beat this Mario? Um, this is you know this is one of those Mario's. Like this was a game. If you two warps in this world, woo! Oh, okay, I think it's similar to that other one. Maybe Cap and Fulzo. Ah, get away from. Me. Have you, like, this was a tough game as a kid. Uh, now it's a little easier, especially going back with, like, firepower and stuff. You could just probably wait it out for the most part. I don't know if there was something up there, but I don't want to break the brick and lose my opportunity to go up high there. Okay, maybe there's something here. No. Oh. I feel like you, that one looks like one you can go in, you know? Oh, okay. Oof, that was almost bad, right? Man, nothing, huh? So maybe up here. Really wild if there was a third pipe you could go in, no? This reminds me of some something you'd see in World 7 with all the plants, because if you play uh Oh yeah, I get it. If you play what is it? Mario 3 and you go to the uh, World 4 with the big stuff. Or no, 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 it is World 7 in that one as well, where you, with all the pipes. Man, that level's tough! Uh, I was thinking about playing through Mario 3 and doing like every level without whistling, you know, but uh, oh man, it's been so long since I've seen this little world. <gasps> oh man, I suck at these ladders. That was terrible. That was scary. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there we go. That was scary. Okay, I already got firepower, but it is points. But we're, we're doing pretty good, so I'm gonna try to keep that up. Oh, I should have went up there. I was gonna say, where's the bullets? Oh no. Wait for it here. Maybe the bullet won't come on the same line as this. Oh! Why? Why? Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about doing the lost levels as well, but those levels are hard! And then I was thinking about doing a complete playthrough of Super Mario World. Uh, I usually, I don't warp in that one. I'll take Star Road or, or I'll skip some of the worlds because level four, or the forest level and then I think like the Mud Island level is is pretty rough. Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. But uh, hoi. hey, they put those there just to mess with you. Oh, he's throwing hammers! He's throwing hammers and spitting fire. What? Why is he getting so close? Get out of here! Where's that fireball? Oh, no. No! I got too close! That guy's too big! Oh, six more! I got five guys. This is tough. This is hard. I'm sweating bullets here. Man, you wouldn't... It's been so long since I've played through these levels that... Oh! I'll try to get this. I can't believe that one got me last time. That's alright. Oh! Woo! Slow it down. Slow it down. Uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, <laughs> I remember what I was saying. Oh. oh yeah, I was gonna maybe play through like the lost levels of uh, Super Mario World, but uh, yeah, I kept my big. But those get, those levels are hard as hell too. The ones where you get complete Star Road and then you go to like basically the lost levels of Super Mario World. Uh, it's funny, I saw this video that was it was like the most useless and pointless uh, Mario level, and it was the one where you you beat the Cotton Bridge or the Cheese Bridge or whatever the hell it is, and you go. Oh, that's right, I remember this one. How the heck do I get up there now? Is there a secret? Maybe I have to bounce off a bullet? I thought you could zoom on the bullets on this one, but maybe not. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with them. Well, of course you stick that guy down there. Oh, maybe I was supposed to jump off the turtle. <laughs> I know, I was pretty sure there was something in here. Oh, coin thing, nice. Well, okay, is this a warp? I hope so, because these guys are jerks. There we go. That one might be this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, okay, this is the one from the first level, the pattern. Okay. Sorry, it's getting real. I'm on World 7. I'm like, ah, I'm like, geeked out. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm 
pretty sure that is just a coin thing. Oh, I'll forget about it. That might be another spot you could do there where you rack up points to do that. But that would be interesting to see if you got to the max points and it started giving you free guys, because I think that's what happens with the turtle trick. I can't remember. You get so many points. Or maybe it's because you get so many points in a row. So that would be interesting to do. Maybe we'll take a look at that someday. Oh yeah, 72 Water World. I think this is essentially the same pattern as the first one. I think you can walk down here and they can't get you, but they will. Oh man, they're jerks. This one is definitely an octopus heavy level. Skin it, skin it, uh oh. No, this is not good. Okay, I got that one off the screen. Oh. Why are you guys so slow? Oh my gosh, can you believe that? They trapped me, those jerks! Ah! Oh. I can't believe it. I mean, I can't. Should never went for those coins, huh? I get you those dang coins. Uh, you know, you can fly so much faster as little Mario. That's just what's up. Look at that, he's like marathoning. Mm hmm that's what's up, uh-oh, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk, just walking up, ah, grab a couple, right. the, the pixel radius on these guys is kind of crazy, sort of, like the fish, they, they were, it was more than I expected, because I'm used to clearing those uh, plants and stuff, so. It's always a trap to go down and get those coins every time, just remember that, that one especially, that one just looks bad. <laughs> That would be interesting. I wonder. I'm sure there's people that have, that have done it, but it would be interesting to see if uh, there's runs where people I have to get every coin. Because in games, further games like uh, you know Donkey Kong Country and, and some of those ones where they have completion goals on the next, even just on the next generation, uh, the you could you know it's easier to track that stuff. But that would be actually pretty interesting to see a run like that. I, like I said, I'm sure somebody's done it. You know, this is the modern age and YouTube and all that business. It's, you know, not pretty much nothing. I should have got that power up, but I don't want to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, yeah, they got me. Fishing for coins, that's right. Oh, Make it to World 8. I can do all right in World 8. Oh, no, they almost did it to me again. <laughs> Maybe I should stop with the power up this time. Or, oh, I must have got a checkpoint or something. There we go, Super Mario! Booyah, 7-4, is this a maze? I can't remember. I, I might not be able to clear 7-4, guys. I'm sorry, I appreciate it. It's been fun. If I can't beat it, I can't beat it. I'm not gonna, oh, got myself some fireworks. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw myself in the ringer for it. I've beat this game enough times to, uh, oh, this is where I start. Top, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top, I think is what it is. Does that sound right? I remember originally running out of time in these. And then I think you have, this is another, so a two-part maze, right? So then I think you gotta go all the way down. God, it's been so long. No, that wasn't it. I'm pretty sure it's high, maybe it's high, high. Maybe it's high middle. Or maybe it's down low. We'll see. High middle high. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, okay, we're there. And then in eight, they throw a hammerhead in here because he's such a jerk. Okay, so I think he's starting by having to have two. And hammers, nice. Oh, look how close he was. I wasn't even touching him. Ah! Whew. Helps to have that big, huh? I don't think they give you one. What did I say? It was top. No, bottom, middle, top. That one I remember. Okay, and then it's top, middle, top. It's messed up that they throw these mazes in here, right? And you don't even know, they've never done it before in the whole game, and then now all of a sudden you've got a freaking maze on your hands. Whew! Almost didn't pull up soon enough on that one. So I guess the trick would be to maybe wait here till you see him to get that fireball to proc and then go. Is he gonna spit fire? Oh. This guy's a beast! He walked me into the fireball! Ah! Bowser! Ah! Alright. Oh, if I can get to 8-1, I might be able to do it. Oh, and then I just fall in the drink. Oh, man. Okay, last try. 
Let's try. I can do this. I can do this. Bah. Middle. Top. Top. Middle. Oh, I hate that. Alright, Bowser, you're mine this time unless I run right into your fireball like a dork. Which I almost did. Yeah! Okay, hey. If you want to see me beat the game the rest of the way, I've got a complete speed run you can see to 8-1. But I cleared the levels I don't normally clear, which is every level. I did skip a little bit there. Um, it would be nice to get a free guy. I don't think there is one here. Normally I speed run these levels, so we'll see. Like I said, it's been a minute. And that one is one of the ones I find hard to jump over. I could definitely improve on that on my speed run. And that one as well, so... I thought one of these you could go down. No. Maybe it was this one? Okay, let's see. Alright, oh, there's not enough coins. Maybe I can somehow eke out enough coins to uh, get a free guy before I make it to the end and try to beat. I mean, I can do it. I've Obviously, I've done it without dying, but this is different. <laughs> I'm out of practice. This is like the first time I've played this game in so long. There's a big in here, but you're gonna die trying to get it because of that stupid turtle in there. Should be able to clear the level with this. Let's see. At least the hard part. Oh, I blew it. This was the hardest jump in the world when you're a kid, and then this end I think is sucks. You get a turtle coming, I think. Oh no, it's just a hard bunch of series of hard jumps. That's a three. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna get there. Oh, there is a free guy here if I want to try to get it. If it doesn't kill me, <laughs> I should have took notes on my speed run before I played this one. Really? Oh, I should have killed him. That's for sure. I think I usually miss this one. Yeah! Alright, let's we'll see if I can make that count. <laughs> I think there's a big in here. How many times did you grab a power-up and die immediately after, you know what I mean? Or not even die, but lose the power-up. Almost more times than not, right? <laughs> Okay, maybe this is the spot I was thinking about that screwed up. Oh. Woo! Ah, are you killing me? I had that. Alright, 8-3. 8-3, uh, I can do. I have an extra guy. <laughs> this is cutting it down to the wire, baby. played this level before. Alright, we got this. Oh, I can do better than that. Much better. Get out of here. Is there a big up here is the question. Yes. Don't drain me. Nice. Oh, the bad run. That's okay. I can go up. Nope. Oh. Did they both go up top is the question. Nope. <laughs> oh, they're splitting me good, huh? Get out of here! Come down to the bottom. What are their patterns? I'm sure you could watch them and learn, right? They're both never gonna go back down to the bottom, are they? They're both in the top. He went all the way down. He's really trying to get me. <laughs> Sorry about that was painful, right? I think there's another guy coming up right here. Get him. Can I get both of them is the question now? He jumped. Ooh. Now, if you are doing the speed run, this is the one where the uh, algorithm can change and become increasingly difficult because um, the way those hammer bros line up. So a lot of time, I mean, we talked about this. this is, that's one of the levels I was talking about with algorithm manipulation. This is in an upcoming game in chat. Yeah, the next one, I think. Uh, so, so tune into that. But yeah, that's kind of what we talk about there with the... Uh, there's a way to do this first part better, too. But with the algorithm manipulation, so... Um, oh man, I forget this maze. 
that would be an example of one of those things. And then you can bomb this a lot faster as well, but I did not get it now. Uh, but yeah, is, do you think that that should count for, you know, what do you call it? The world record. Doing that kind of stuff. Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, I told myself that was gonna happen. Oh man, I almost did it. Did the nope, continue code did not work. Ah, bummer, man, I almost made it all the way to the end. It's been so long. Ah. Well, there's always next year, so maybe we'll try to uh, beat that, get to the end of that in next year's thing. I can't believe I choked right there. I know I can beat the, uh, I know I can get the rest of the way, but that's one try. Uh, I haven't played this game in a really long time, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> that was fun. So yeah, happy Mario Day, everybody. I hope you have a, a great rest of your day, and look forward, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin Day is coming up on 316. Hell yeah, so tune into that. We'll see you next time. There you go. <laughs> Do, do, do. So play some Mario, you gotta keep your hat on. Here. There you go. How cool are you? <laughs> so cool. Hey! What? Mario was fast! Run, you have to move him forward on the thing. Right here. Okay, now shoot your fireballs at those. Shoot your fireballs! B! Push me! Push me! Shoot those guys! Ah! I gotta shoot them, they got you! <laughs> Jump and hit those coin blocks. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Is the hat too big? Yeah. You look so cute though. Jump! Hit the jump button. Get the coin. Hit the no, jump button. No. This is the jump button. Here. This one. See? Oh!